over there. So, this is a little bit impromptu because the uh, the uh, games summer games fest thing was just on, um, and the demo was available. So I installed it while I was watching the rest of that, and now I'm gonna play it. I can hear me in the background because I've got me up too loud. <laughs> For archival purposes, we are streaming today at 720p. It is a 3000 bit rate and it is currently 7.15 a.m. on Friday the 9th of June 2023. And we're playing Liza P. Well, at least the demo of it, anyway. G'day, Saints. Welcome, welcome. Alright. HDR, no. I've got that turned off because I don't stream with HDR on. Brightness. Please adjust so that both the dark image and the bright image are visible. Definitely don't. I feel like I even want to drop the brightness a little bit, maybe. I'll leave it there like that. I don't think I can muck around with the contrast for some reason. You sound deathly tired. Um, I'm, I'm, I was doing other things, and then I'm like, <gasps> I want to play that. So it's not necessarily that I'm tired, it's more that I am uh, distracted. But I am so excited for this. Because I haven't set anything up, like normally there's a certain certain chain of things that I have to set up to make sure that I'm streaming. So this is probably going to be a little bit haggard, but it will do the job. Oh yeah. I love a good license agreement. Okay, hold on. We can actually use this to our advantage. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. All right. I just agree to it without scrolling through it. Yeah, perfect. Floods on. Yes, motion blur off. We're going to turn motion blur off. This is personal preference. Um... I do it partly because when shit gets streamed, uh, my bitrate tends to tank at times. Pretty sure it's to do with my router. Pretty sure I need to upgrade. But it could be something else that I'm not willing to fork out the money on a router until I know exactly what it is. But, you know, that's... Uh... Anyway, guide. Sets the guide messages. Sure. Adjust attack direction. Okay, so there's a bit, of, a bit of aim assist. Switch to auto lock on. Uh, yeah. That does a thing. Subtitles. Yes. Um, I don't think I'm really going to fuck around too much with most of this. Make sure the voices are up a bit louder. Make sure the special effects are down a smidgen. The music can go up a little bit, I guess. I'll just leave most of it on. Meh. Graphics. Okay, that's going to give us all the frames, and the other one is going to be up on the graphical quality. Um. Okay. Are we ready? Are we ready for our first dive into the self-proclaimed Souls-like Lies of P? I would say yes, yes we are. But I would also say that I have my hair stuck under my headset, 
And it is poking me in the eye. Alright. As the weight of your equipped items gets heavier, your movement speed and stamina recovery speed slow down. When you reach the weight limit, it greatly slows down your speed. Okay, so it's progressive... Progressive carry weight dramas. You just stick with Woodborne. You stick with whatever you want, Saints. In honor of the great writer, Carlo Collodi. Can you hear me? Yes. This is the fairy. Geppetto's puppet. We need your help. Is that the voice of, um... Mantis? From Guardians of the Galaxy? It sounds like her. Okay. Rotate camera, yep. That's pretty good. And move. We've got some ups and downs and things. Oh. I don't have any Estus. I guess that's what it is, I don't know. Ah. Okay. There you are. I've been looking all over for you. Yeah. This is a pretty cool place. I like this. Interact. Yes. Oh, this. Eh? I see they got Jiminy too. But we have to hurry. My name is Sophia. Jim Jiminy? Please come to Hotel Crot. There's Gemini. And I'll explain what's happening. That's interesting. All Jiminy, right. please escort him to the hotel. It's weird that they're saying Jiminy. Gemini. I don't know if that's on purpose, or if Jiminy's always been spelled like that. Hello, DD. Greetings, drunk boy DD, who only likes Warhammer 40k. Hey! All jokes aside, that actually looked pretty sick. But I'm keen to try the, um, the Warhammer, um, um, Vermintide, but the space one. Open door! Let's get you out of there. Find something that might help. I am on a train, right? Is the train going to crash? Or am I going to find out that the train is not actually where I thought it was? Ooh, body parts. But the streets are not safe. Arm yourself with one of the weapons over there. It'll be helpful on your way to the hotel. Okay. Oh, path of the cricket is balanced. Path of the bastard is dexterity. Part of the sweeper is strength. Oh, it's like different swords. You got a big choppy sword. You got a... I'm guessing it's a pokey stabby sword. Or a jumpy around balance sword. Oh. Oh. Wait, I mean Dark Tide. Yeah, because I liked Vermintide. So Dark Tide looks cool. I haven't played it yet. I've heard mixed things. A balanced combat style with both power and speed. A quick and nimble combat style for striking enemies' weak spots. A heavy combat style that cuts down enemies using great physical strength. Uh, let's go the quick jumpy around dashy boy. Yeah? Yeah. Sounds good. Path of the Bastard. Yes. Destination Hotel Quiet. Recommend escaping from this location. Is that supposed to be Jiminy, like... Is that supposed to be Jiminy? It's like the robot voice? Open sesame! Okay. Yeah, so the train was parked. We have stuff around. Ooh, someone. The camera's real sensitive. Um... Uh, if I go into settings, are you going to pause? Oop! Oh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, that's my stamina. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. So, there's that. That's the special attack, I guess. It's a pokey dodgy. That's block. Left trigger is our big old punchy boy. 
got a Fable Catalyst. We've got a Fable Catalyst. It's exciting. Now, can I please just go into my settings real quick and just... Visibility becomes more natural when moving through an inclined area. Uh, we'll have a look at that later. Just turn it down a little bit. It doesn't need to be down much. Just a little bit. Just a little, just a little smidgen. Yeah, that's better. It just felt like it was oiled. Welcome to Craft Station, everyone. Sawtoothed wheel. Here you will witness the most spectacular display of human endeavor on Earth. Okay. If Craft is your final destination. We wish you a safe and prosperous day. Okay. Dash dodge, yep. LB's guard. Hold A and it opens up the second wheel of shit. Your character will die if you use this. No. What? I don't want to do that. Oh. I'm assuming that that's like Estus or something. I don't know. Maximum number of pulse cells has been increased. Use a pulse cell to recover HP. Okay, so it's not Estus. There is a maximum number of times pulse cells can be used. When you reach the maximum, the cell will be discharged. If you attack enemies while the cell is discharged, pulse cell will be gradually charged. Okay, so it's a recharging health thing. Krat Grand Exhibition 18XX. Witness the greatest show on Earth. Experiments, and it's gone. Alright, well, I'm glad we didn't need to read the rest of that. I don't know about the X on enemies. I think it's a bit big. I, I like I like a little. Ah. Okay. A block. A block's pretty crazy. Hey, get out of it. G'day, I King. Okay. That's a special. The special's a little little pokey dash, back stabby, etc. It's not too bad. Okay. Everybody's dead. What's that? Oh. He looks angry. Okay. Foreshadowing. Hello. Okay, all these guys can be pretty easily stun locked. Which is good news. Press the button. Oh, I don't know if I want to press the button. Can I smash stuff? Some stuff. I have a sprint. If it's a hold B, it is a hold B. Okay. It is a hold B to sprint. Okay. It's going to be locked. It is. Alright. What do we got? What do we got? We'll do that in a second, Jiminy. I want to push this button. Nope. Okay. Don't push the button. Push the button. Bad. Let's uh, use that. Yeah. All right. We've got some heal going on. That's good. How do I... Ah! There we go. Ow. Fuck. some sort, which is kind of cool. Like, I've seen bits and pieces of it, and obviously it's based on Pinocchio, but I don't, uh, I don't really know anything. Okay. I feel like I'm going to place that old mate. Yeah, we got the good old dash through boxes. I feel like I angered something. Yeah, he's following me. Alright, that's good. Hey, bud. How you doing? 
Get poke. Return of the poke. Okay. Not sure if I should be going up or down, but we'll go up. He looks upset. He's got a big hammer too. You should be into these super washed out and gritty souls clones because there's a lot of them coming. Lately. Latika. <laughs> yeah, that's a good autocorrect. All right. Ah. Good old finishing move. So that downstairs, that's where, that's where our old mate is. I wonder if I can do like a drop attack on him. Obviously if I went downstairs. Oh no. Because I'd probably hit a dead end, wouldn't I? Maybe I should check downstairs first. I don't know. I don't know how dark and gritty it, it's going to be. Like, Souls is dark and gritty, mostly. But, I mean, this seems pretty nicely coloured, you know? Thermite. Grenade? Okay. Hold down to activate the extra bag, equipped items and gestures in the bag. Okay. I've got just that thing, which I'm guessing is like the, not the homeward bone, the other one, the, 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 the dark sign. The go home and lose all your shit. Elder Ring was beautiful with a surprising amount of purple. Yeah, I mean, look, they, all the Souls games have a decent chunk of color to them, and there are definitely uh, like Souls likes that lean in heavily into the everything is the same color, which it doesn't look great. But, um, you know, there's, there's, there's some that don't do that. Oh no. Hello there, Mr. Policeman. Let me stun lock you to death. This is when they're just tour guides. A grand exhibition. A dream of becoming a real girl. Okay. stuff. If anyone finds this note, get out of the station and run. Definitely make sure to keep clear of the waiting room. I saw a huge puppet smashing people to death in there. I locked the door, but I don't know if that'll work. At least it should stop people from randomly coming in. I'm going to die soon, so I want to help you even if it's not much. Please survive. Anyone? Surge is one that you're interested in because of the art direction, but your Souls fanboy friend told me it's brutally unfair, so I don't know. I played through the Souls games. I'd not say Souls games. I played through both Surge games on stream. I've got the VODs up if you're curious to have a bit of a click around. They're very good. Like, well, the second one was very good. The first one was fine. The second one was good, though. I really enjoyed it a lot. I'm thinking I'm going to do a drop attack on him if I get the chance. Hello, sir. Oh, shit. I gotta get used to re-locking on the stuff. Ah. Nope. Blood. Well, oil, I guess. Surge is fun. Surge is fun. Surge 2 is more fun. You thought it was fairly easy in comparison to Dark Souls? I mean, it does. It depends on your build. And it depends on what build you used in Dark Souls. Oh, I've breathed in something I shouldn't have. Hold on. Okay. I think we're still... I think we're good. Okay. Surge 2 is okay. Not sure I'd, re I'd recommend it. Yeah, right righto, Hib. So Hib is a big Surge 2 fan. I really think I should do drop attack on him. There are doors and ladders all throughout crap that are locked by devices. You can unlock these doors or go down the ladders to create shortcuts. Okay. Sounds good. So this is a shortcut back to wherever our bonfire equivalent will be. Do rig thingies all the way. Yep, they were good. Fable catalyst. Hold on. Okay, so hold on. What is what is stuff? 
So we've got the pulse cell, which is our Estus. All right. We have our grinder, which I don't know what that is. I, I guess it's some sort of dating app. So we can find like-minded puppets. Monad's lamp. Okay. Uh, do I need to... Oh, shit. Okay. Here's our stuff. Consumer rules. Alright. Fable Catalyst. Catalyst made to supplement puppet abilities. Rapidly charges Fable. What the fuck is Fable? The Catalyst made puppets more efficient by circulating ergo energy within their bodies. Okay. The groundbreaking invention was based on one alchemist's idea. You can throw a cogwheel. Cogwheels are common sight in crap. It can be thrown to draw an enemy's attention. Even worthless items can become useful if you collect them. Even everything became useful in battle in the paralyzed city. The directional blocking in the Surge 2 is flipping, flipping amazing. What is this game? Hib. 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 This game is a little something called The Lies of P. The directional blocking in Surge 2 is flipping amazing. Yeah, it is pretty good. Screw what people say and reviews and all that shit and just play. Yeah, yeah, I recommend it. If you can get your hands on Surge 2 for, you know, a decent price and everything, go for it. Like something you're comfortable with, go for it. Thermite bomb can be thrown and inflicts fire damage at the area of impact. After the puppet frenzy, people began to fashion weapons of resistance in their desperation. Many throwable weapons were manufactured, and these exhibited excellent results against the marching enemies. Okay. And then Ergo, a fragment of Ergo. A mysterious power stone that can be found in Krat. Chipetto's puppet can absorb Ergo and turn it into power. Ergo is both a power source and a currency in Krat. Even small pieces can be put to good use in the city. Okay, so I'm guessing that this is the soul's equivalent. Alright. I don't know what Fable is. I'm not sure what Fable is. Um. And I'll, I'll put the firebomb down there. Turn off the light. Hib says Surge 2 is the best non from Souls Lake without exception. Okay. It is a strong opinion to have, but it's not a bad opinion. So, here we go. Quick question. Is this boss going to be a. Whether I win or lose is irrelevant. Probably going to lose. But is this boss going to be a. You're supposed to die in this fight, like Genichiro? Or. Is this boss going to be the equivalent of the, the Asylum Demon, where it's like, you didn't beat him, try again. Excuse me, sir. How you doing? Ow. Alright, alright. He's backing up. Ooh, he's got a double, alright. Uh, how about this? Didn't even stagger him. That's fun. What sort of moves have we got on you? Okay. Ow. Okay. Now, attack enemies with a weapon to charge your pulse. Okay. This is going to... Ow! Go. Whoa. Whoa. But actually, what the fuck are you playing and one eye playing? I'm playing Lies of P. This is Lies of P. It is the demo of Lies of P, but it is Lies of P. <laughs> Lies of Penis. I came up with Woodborne. Less on the nose. Badum tis. Ha ha ha. 
Oh, we killed him. We got the key. I think he dropped something else too. I wasn't actually paying full attention, but... We got something else out of it, which is cool. You need more information. Okay, do you know what Lies of P is? You would have heard of Lies of P. We've talked about that before. It is a Souls-like that has been coming and had really great potential. No? Could have sworn I've talked to you about it directly before. Um, it is a Souls-like based on Pinocchio. Um, it is one of the... One of the Souls-likes that was sort of coming down the pipeline, or still is, I guess, that is in quite high regard. Um... Hold on, what's LB and Y? Oh, what's that, like a, like a guard break? Hmm. I maybe was drunk. That's fine. Um, I might just do a cheeky healy healy. And we'll see what's through the door. Open sesame. Oh. Okay. I was locked in. Not locked out. Alright, uh, what do we got? End of demo. Yeah, possible. Quite possible. Guessing this is our bonfire, maybe? Repair the stargazer. You're a wizard, Harry. Stargazer activated. Use a stargazer to fully recover HP and stamina, as well as charge your pulse cells. You will revive at this point upon death. Remember, this process also revives enemies, not just your character. Ah. This is called a stargazer. A marvelous device the stalkers used in the past. Okay, no, it's not, uh... As we are, we are not strong enough to beat the puppets. But if I lend my power to this stargazer for a moment, there a seek, seek lest. clever one. This stargazer will make you stronger. Okay. But the stargazer's strength doesn't last forever, so be careful with it. Wait, what? Hurry what up mean? and come to Hotel Krat. Ib says when they say souls like, what they meant was massive souls rip off like. Ah, oh, look, I think it's I think it's more of a an homage type of thing at this point because it's um it's like Metroidvania. Like, it's more of a genre at this point. People call it like, oh, it's a... It's a... It's a... a, a, a an RPG, but it's like an action, but it's not an action RPG, because then people think of, like, Diablo. It's... It's... It's a Souls like. You're an homage? Well, thank you. She's giving you the Arc 2.0 subclass. She is. What does it mean that it doesn't last forever? That worries me a little bit. Ooh, Vitality. Yuck. Ew. Gross. Take points out of it. Bigger. What is Legion? We are Legion. So, capacity is Legion and weight. I don't know what Legion is. It's supposed to be Copium for the Bloodborne PC port game. Yeah, the next best thing, Bloodborne. Hey, look, I'll take it because I didn't get to play Bloodborne because I haven't, I haven't had a PlayStation, so I never got a good go, and I've always wanted to. Motivity. All right, so it's what our Dex. Oh no, it's our attack. Okay. And technique. Do I have like a, like a tell me what this is button? Maybe I need to look at it on my other thing. Hold on. This one. This one. Okay. Uh, cross. Energy items you own. Character info. Let's say unable to... Unable to check status. Eh? Maybe... Let's do the dumb thing and not level up. 
So how many how many levels can we level? Probably two or three times, two times probably. Uh, you know what? Let's not level up. Let's not level up. Let's just let's just lose all our souls. Yeah, let's level up. I just remembered that we lose all our souls. I don't know why. I, uh, I don't know why I thought that that was a good idea. I'm just gonna. I don't. I don't know what these all do. So it increases physical attack and resistances and shit. Advance. This legion. Okay. Cool. Capacity is obviously okay, right? I don't know what Legion is! It hasn't told me what Legion is. This is incredibly bloodborne -y. That fountain actually looks like an area in Bloodborne, only less dark and Victorian London-y. Uh, Technique. No. Technique looks like attack. But then... Motivity... Oh, Legion Arm. Legion arm. So Legion is... Magic? Maybe? I don't know. Fuck it. I'm gonna go one into that, one into that, and then we'll just press level up, and life is good. Aha! There you go. Does it have a parry mechanic? It's really fucking hard to time. Um, it hasn't told me yet. It has this. I don't know if that's a guard break or a parry. Um, but I mean, it's it is teaching me as we go, so we will find out. They do like the robots do like killing horses. Robo dog, guard before getting hit. Okay, so it does have a parry. I don't like parries. There's a lot of you. Alright, everyone chill the fuck out. Die, peasants. Okay. As I was saying, the robots seem to kind of uh, enjoy killing horses for some reason. Crat Times, issue 183. The grand, uh, the Crat Grand Exhibition has been delayed. The decision was made to protect the citizens until the puppet frenzy that has recently paralyzed the city is under control. The occurrence began on Rosa Isabel Street, resulting in hundreds of casualties. While the cause is still unknown, the number of casualties and scale of damage are both growing. As the crisis dragged on, the workshop and the... Venigi? Ven... Venigi? Company, Kratz's largest puppet factory, announced that they would offer emergency supplies to citizens and do everything they could to alleviate the situation. Okay. Is this on Xbox? It certainly is. It certainly is. As of like two hours ago, I was watching the Summer Games Fest and they showed a trailer and went, hey, look, there's a trailer. And we're like, yay, another trailer. We've been waiting to see more of this game for ages. And then they went, the demo is on all platforms right now. I went to the game. I went to the store, and I went. I want the demo, please, sir. What are your most recent demos? I went. None of that. I went. Oh, okay. And I had to search it manually, but it was there. Give that. Give things. Break stuff. I can go anywhere. Did I? Did she give me like a goal? She did say that I like I needed to hurry or whatever, but. I don't know if she gave me a goal. Can't commit to new things. You have Diablo 4 in your life now. Can't do ARPG and Souls like at the same time. Can't do ARPG and Souls like at the butt time. Yeah. It would hurt my head. Well, this is a demo. If that helps, this is just a couple of hours. I assume it's a couple of hours. I don't know how long it is. It might end very quickly. Yeah. Good evening, gentlemen. Can I have your attention for a moment? You 
can always do the butt time. My favorite is butt time. Can I break the lock or is that okay? Had to check. Just had to check. I know I can't jump. At least I'm pretty sure I can't jump. Oh, I can jump. Never mind. Jumping can be had. Yeah. Nope. Okay, I can't actually jump. But yeah, the demos there, I, I don't know about other platforms on Xbox. It's like 20 gig. Um, and yeah, it's good to good to play. Straight up. Straight up. Yeah. Nope, can't go through them. Hello. Fuck them boxes. And some barrels. And some other stuff. And this. This room seems quite sus. Push the button. Zap. Yep. Okay. That's a shortcut. Close out. Get poked. Come up here, gentlemen. Or don't. Is it because I'm standing on the edge and they're like, ah? Really? Oh, hey. When he damages me and I stab him quickly, I get health back. That's very, uh, bloodborne. Murder fragment. Okay. And I did also see in the trailer he had the stick with the spinning blade wheel thing on the end of it. I want robot dog. So I know that they're very starter enemies, so they're equivalent they're the equivalent of like the undead in the asylum and they're supposed to be pretty derpy but I'm hoping that the AI is a little brighter and I assume it is but you never know but early on that is something that I have observed that I am a little bit worried about hello voice in my head telephone no I don't know it's weird Yeah, ergo fragment. Okay. I do like the sound of the beach. Good old beach noises. Can't go through that. Barrel. Oop. Fable Arts. Press Y to use blade fable arts. While guarding, use handle fable arts. Weapons have distinct blades and handles that each have their own fable art. Fable arts use up fable slots. If different fable arts use di sorry, and different fable arts use a different number of slots. Charge fable slots by attacking enemies with weapons. Okay, so the same way that you charge your your melee. Oh you're not your melee, you're Estus. Oh hey. Hello. Um Um I push button. Ow? Alright. Out. No, thank you. He looks upset. Now, get around him, not fucking standing in front of him. Grinder, used to repair weapon durability. Oh no. Ah, oh, he's on my elbow. Hmm, box. The poor barrel had had a family. It knew what it was doing. It had what was coming to it. Carbonistas? No, that's not it. Top one. I'm going this side. 
It's a dead end. Excellent. Okay. Is it? Oh, hello. Oh. Pretty distance. Foreshadowing. What was that? There was something big climbing over the hills. What was the game? What was the game recently? Was it Steel Rising? That had like a... It was like sort of a similar sort of idea of like automatons and stuff in a Victorian era city. Alright, perfect game. I don't think that was a perfect card. I think that was terrible. Ow! No, no bullets. Dick. Hello. Nope. Aha! Ow! He didn't even have a head. Oh, puppy. Uh oh. Okay, so what I had. Everything so far can. Well, not everything, but a lot of stuff can be stunned like. Did I ever go back to Mortal Shell? I just. I. I fucked around with it a bit, but I just couldn't, I couldn't get into it enough. Because everything looked the same. And maybe that changed later on, but the, the world in Mortal Shell let me down. Because it was, it was too easy to get very lost in it. And maybe that was the point, but I like sort of learning my way around the streets and stuff. It was, it was just, it was very, like, the world itself was very samey. Beautiful, like, character design and stuff, and armor and things. Hello, puppy. I stab you in the back. Bad dog. You really disliked it? I, I wasn't a huge fan. I've heard that they're going to be working on a sequel, and I hope that they do really well at it, because I am... I, like, I'm keen to give that a go. Because there was a lot of potential in what was already there. But it just didn't... It didn't click for me. It just didn't click for me. I'm... I'm lost now. But it's in a good way. Because, like... I have streets to check. And, you know, directions to explore. And all that sort of thing. Whereas in that swamp, it was sort of like... Am I on the same part of swamp that I was in before? Have I turned around? I don't know. Venegenes? Venegenes? I don't know how to pronounce that. Alright, so we got uh, another policeman. Dude over there to the right. Hello, sir. I poke you. Aha! I poke again. And one more poke. Nope, no more pokes. Okay, how about that? Hello, headless sir. Okay. Asha. Oh, hello. I don't remember. Did it say we were in France? Or somewhere else? But hey, look, there's plenty of Rollins and plenty of Polins to be had. And that's the important thing. Ooh, a circus. Aha, shortcut. Open. This should be the entry of that other little area. Yeah, it is good. Good, good, good. Okay, so if that's our shortcut, and we're going to be going to the circus, because it looks like the circus, the hotel and everything... I have a quick look down here. Hello, puppy. Okay. Yeah. 
some music up there from the circus. That's exciting. Okay. Then there was just a dog going to pick up. It's all right. A powerful parade puppet is blocking the entrance. Is it? And that's the only way in. Oh. So please, be careful. Okay. This is the boxing dude. Look at the boxing dude. Which is that guy on the right? Oh. The enemy is about to be grubby. Am I supposed to be training against this? Is that what we're doing? Is this a training dummy? Like, am I supposed to be killing this guy? I feel like... I feel like this is a training dummy. I know you were shot by you. Hello there. Hello. Welcome to Krat, visitor. Okay. I didn't think there were any stalkers left to fight the puppets. I don't know. You didn't hear? Figures. The whole organization fell apart. All that's left are wannabes and amateurs who think they can fight on their own. Okay. You ought to buy something while you're at the festival. You can't rely on yourself alone. No? Okay. It, it should Out here alone? You could use some help. Here's a festival gift for you. Now get yourself something useful. Okay. I don't know what the festival gift was, but that's all right. Fable Catalyst, throwing cell. Large output battery that can be thrown. Inflicts electric blitz damage in the area of impact. Alright. Uh, electric blitz abrasive. Okay, so that's like your... Your, like, golden tree sap stuff, or whatever. Things like that. So you can apply stuff. Electric damage. Why Stork is prepared to face any manner of variable that comes up in battle. Abrasives are a, another weapon that can turn the tide on a constantly shifting battlefield. Puppet Saber's Blade. Oh, Puppet Saber Blade. Oh, wait, hold on. So these are going to be the three things that we've already got. Yeah? No? Are these compared to what we've already got on? Maybe? I'm assuming it is. I'm assuming these are the same. Yeah, because greatsword, sword, and the rapier, I'm pretty sure, is what we've already got. So it just lets you change your, your sword from your setup. Can I sell him stuff? Instantly repair weapon durability. Okay. Selling that, it's all this stuff or souls. Workshop Union lightweight flame, a uh, frame, not flame. Parts that enhance your puppet frames absorbs physical damage. This item was made in the puppet workshop with the purpose of improving strength, and limiting the weight to increase as much as possible. However, its weight is significantly greater than the standard version. Okay. Hold on. So do we have armor? Do we? I can have a second sword. Alright. Can't, can't change stuff about my arm. Amulet? No. Defensive parts. Lightweight frame. It's significantly greater than the standard version, but it's not. It's oh no, it is. Sorry. I wouldn't call that significant, though. Physical damage reduction rate is more than doubled, though. And I get an increase of, like, one. Old generation converter, so that's your defense stuff. 
resistance is thing slash damage reduction. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Alright. To view the guard again. Did I miss something? Is it telling me I missed something? Introducing the parade puppet. Here comes a terrific puppet who will enliven the parade. Sorry. Uh, <clears throat> Here comes a terrific puppet who will enliven the parade. Introducing Parade Master, a remarkable parade puppet model from the workshop to celebrate the grand exhibition. Hello there, I am the Parade Master. I like singing and marching with people and murder. The Parade Master has the following functions. 16 jolly songs, cheerful laughter and 54 parade phrases, parade dances to delight children, the strength to carry six men on his shoulders. I don't know, I don't know why that would, okay. This Parade Master was made big in commemoration of the grand exhibition. Check out its charms on the eve of the upcoming exhibition. Okay. Well, I'm really excited about that one, Dad. I hope we get to see the Parade Master. I hope he doesn't murder everyone again. I miss Mum. Okay, so this is uh, going to be our first proper boss, not just our first tougher enemy. I got that bonfire, but it's a fair way back at this point. Oh, yeah. Stealth! Oh yeah, they look friendly. Alright. Hey bud. How you doing? Shit. Ow. That hurt. I don't like you. turned into blue magic. Automated puppets were an innovative invention, invention made by the genius technician Geppetto. The introduction of automated puppets drastically improved the quality of life for the citizens of crap. Oh, it's all Geppetto's fault. Hello. Alive again. If you die in a boss battle, Death Ergo is created at the entrance to the boss area. Ooh, oh. Out. Pretty sure I can go up to the right now because there's a shortcut. I believe. Uh oh. Nope, you stay down. Ow. Now, stop it. Table catalyst? No, it wasn't this way. It wasn't this way. Where was the shortcut? Where has it hidden itself? Maybe it's over here to the right. Yeah, this is the way. And then... Yeah, straight across the bridge. Okay, well it's pretty short. That's good. Hey, free stuff. No. Nope. Let's grab this. Lost Ergo Recovery. It's a fog wall, but not a fog wall. Hey, big fella. How you doing? Ow! Alright, that hurts a lot. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Wow, he does body slams. That's not fun. Okay. Go limp, like you fully just go stiff and go, and then fall over. Okay, that was cool. Now lying, not loading. Now lying. Interesting. Is my nose getting bigger? I have a big nose. Groggy available. Is it? All right. Hold right trigger for a charge attack. While you're attacking, a white outline will appear around the enemy's health bar. When this happens, you can make the enemy groggy with a charge attack or with Fable Arts. Okay. Fatal attack. Face a groggy enemy and then attack them. Fatal attack can be formed on enemies who are groggy. If successful, it can inflict heavy damage. Alright, so it's like a... Like a critical, but it's like a stagger critical sort of thing. When their health bar goes white. When their health bar goes white, use a heavy attack. Probably be locking on to things. So as you're right, I haven't played it. I haven't played it. That's all like in a long time. Charge! You do get your stamina back pretty quick, which is nice. Maybe I should grab the souls that I've got over here. Spend them. Why does it want me to use the guide? What does it keep? Menu settings guide. What have I? What have I missed? Lock on. Guard. Any attacks by guarding. If you guard is successful, it reduces the damage, but it will cost stamina, and the damage will be transferred to guard regain. Guard regain will be turned into HP recovery if you attack enemies. Guard regain accumulates, but gradually reduces after certain time spots. Okay, so that's the whole gain health back thing if you block. If the guard succeeds right before being hit, it triggers Perfect Guard. When Perfect Guard is successful, you will not receive damage, and only stamina is consumed. You can use Perfect Guards to destroy an enemy's weapon, or make them have the groggy available status. Alright. Oh, don't let your weapons get destroyed. Okay. So I don't have to do that between boss fights, like, it, it should give that back, right?
And enter once again. Hello, I am turned. Let us fight once again. That's how they're gonna like, like they might redo areas. I wonder if they're gonna like redo areas because it says now lying, right? So I wonder if they're gonna turn around and be like, that's not how it happened. This is what really happened. And then it'll be like harder or, you know, they'll have different stuff going on. I feel like that's what would probably happen. This time, this time I'm going to do the actually spend your shit thing. Even though I've got to run all the way back, but it's alright. It's a good run, keeps you fit. I like it though. Like, the game looks cool. And having never played Bloodborne, so not really knowing the ins and outs of it, it looks a lot like Bloodborne. Bigger is stamina. Legion is our carry weight and stuff. So, that gives us plus one, plus two, plus three. This gives us plus a lot more. So does that do up our resistances more, or...? Okay.
Picnic does up their attack by a lot. So we're going to use all that. Now let's also check. What have I got in storage? I've got nine of them in storage. Can I only carry three on me? Okay. I can only carry three on me. And if, but we should have... Ergo things. I need like 900 to do another one, so... Use? Two? How much do I need to level up again? 900 and... Blah? 902. Okay. So we'll use one more. Cheeky one. Another point in technique. So we should be doing considerably more damage. Hello, sir. Still takes three shots to uh, three shot them. That's how three works, I guess. I don't have to go that way, I can just go straight through. I could probably run past that dude. So this is a training dummy then. Okay. Ooh, I think the perfect guard does like a louder, like a deeper clang. That's just your normal block, so your normal block goes team. But then... Yeah, I think that was a proper parry. Okay. Cool, I better... I better grind my shit. That's how you repair weapons. With a grinder. Stops them from breaking. Gotta get real abrasive with them. Hello. Did not work as planned. Don't like Roo. Good night, Diddy. Take care of yourself. Oh, 
not die now. Stuck in the door. Come on. There you go. I suppose because he's a robot, that makes sense. Okay. Okay. You play that one back in slow motion. And he swings, like he spins his torso around backwards so he can hit you from the other side. Which is very cheeky.
at that point is back the fuck off. Get him down to below half though that time. <sighs> Use a star fragment at the crack's calling next to the boss area to summon a spectre. It will help you in the boss battle. Okay, good to know. I'm gonna play some more of this uh, probably this afternoon when I have a bit more time. But this is awesome. I like this. This is fun. Um, I will play more of this. Um, I don't know if I'll buy it when it comes out, necessarily, but, um, I have a feeling that the demo finishes after this boss fight, so we'll see what happens there. Um, if I don't have a VOD of more of the demo, then that's probably exactly what's happened. And, uh, we'll see it another time, but so far I'm pretty impressed. I wouldn't mind trying out the other swords and stuff. But yeah, no, I'm pretty impressed. I quite like it. It's quite quite good. It is available now. The demo is there. It is out. It is ready to go. Um, yeah. It's, it's there. It's alive. It's in the world. And I'm hoping that we'll see more of the Lies of P in the future. In the meantime, I hope everyone has had an awesome day. And I hope you have a better tomorrow. And if you are watching this VOD at a later date, whether it be a week, a month, a year from now, 10 years, or long after I'm gone, I'm sure you'll hear from me again. You're awesome too. Oh yeah, and thank you Dusky2k for the follow uh, at the end of the Pokemon Go stream that we had earlier. That was a, a follow while I was offline. But yeah, anyway... Catch you all next time. See ya.